Through readiness and discipline, we are masters of our faith. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 20 most intense Tom Cruise stunts. Oh, you, you go swing? No, 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 wait, wait. You could bounce right off the roof. Yes, I could. For this list, we're looking at the craziest, most dangerous, and most outlandish stunts performed by Tom Cruise. Which of these stunts did you find the most entertaining? Let us know in the comments below. Number 20. Water Tank Explosion – Mission Impossible Sure, the stunts of Mission Impossible may seem positively rudimentary compared to what came later, but they're still impressive. In one of the movie's best action set pieces, numerous water tanks explode inside a restaurant, forcing Ethan to evade a giant surge of water. This was actually Cruz's idea because he wanted the film to contain a kick-ass action scene that would elevate heart rates. Nothing has changed. The stunt was originally performed with a stuntman, but director Brian De Palma was unhappy with how it looked. He then asked Cruz to do it himself, despite the dangers of exploding glass and 16 tons of surging water. Knowing Cruz, we're sure he happily consented. You're worried about me. Why? Number 19. The Battle Scenes – Edge of Tomorrow Not even bulky battle suits can stop Tom Cruise from doing his own stunts. Both Cruise and Emily Blunt donned the battle suits for real, each of which weighed over 80 pounds and could require up to half an hour to crawl into. All right, man, let's get this show on the road. I'm gonna suit up. What's that noise? That... Let's go. Listen, man. I've never been in one of these. The suits were specifically designed to show the actors' faces, and therefore lend a degree of authenticity to the movie's action sequences. If it looks like Cruz is being tossed and thrown around inside an 80-plus pound exoskeleton, that's because he was. We're sure every possible precaution went into its safety, but count us out. Those suits look like they could squash a neck in a second. Number 18. Cable Suspension – Mission Impossible Even today, the defining image of the Mission Impossible franchise is a black-clad Tom Cruise suspended an inch above a shiny white floor. Not only is the color contrast visually pleasing, but the image just exudes suspense and spy movie thrills. It's evident that this is actually Tom Cruise being suspended. And while it's not one of the more dangerous things he's done, it's easily one of the most iconic. And you really think we can do this? We're going to do it. Cruise had a hard time pulling off the stunt because he couldn't balance his body with the cable and his face kept slamming into the floor. To remedy the problem, Cruise put British pound coins into his shoes to counterbalance his own body weight. I know what you're thinking, Krieger. You're thinking back in the computer room, I was up here, he was, he was down there. Number 17. Abandoning the Cockpit – American Made Only Tom Cruise can talk producers into letting him fly a plane. You know the routes? You can get in and out Estados Unidos with your fancy plane. What kind of riches are we talking about here? In any other movie, this would be seen as a monumental safety risk that could result in the star's death. But Cruz has a certain power in Hollywood, so he was actually allowed to fly a light aircraft for real. But it gets even crazier. In one scene, Cruz's character Barry Seal abandons the cockpit to dump drugs out of his plane. According to director Doug Lyman, Cruz actually did this too. Lyman was flying alongside Cruz when he performed the stunt, and by going to the back of the plane, he left it completely unmanned. As Lyman told Yahoo, Cruz went beyond a quote, already outrageous stunt. That pretty much sums him up. Señores, salud, Barry. Cheers. Cheers. Está loco este huevón. Está loco. <laughs> Number 16. Thrown into a car. Mission Impossible 3. The modern Mission Impossible bombast really began with 3. This is when the series ramped up the action set pieces 
And this is when crews really started to go crazy with the stunts. If you made it to the rooftop, took out the guards and got the rabbit's foot, you can't just walk out of the lobby. What's your exit? Base jump off the top. I need to shoot. In the movie's signature scene, Ethan is ambushed on the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel. Shortly after running out of the truck, a missile slams into the vehicle, and the shockwave sends Ethan careening into a nearby car. This stunt was actually performed by crews, with a wire yanking the running actor into the parked car. The explosion caused by the missile and shattering windows were added in post, but the stunt was very real. You ordered the Vatican operation without proper approvals. That mission resulted in a catastrophic attack, and then you fled the scene. Number 15, flying in a military jet, Top Gun Maverick. Tom Cruise is just living it up. The man has lived 10 lifetimes and has crossed off countless bucket list items along the way. We worked with the Navy and the Top Gun School to formulate how to shoot it practically. Because if we're going to do it, we're going to fly in the F-18s. To make the flying scenes in this Top Gun sequel as authentic as possible, Tom Cruise and his co-stars actually flew inside fighter jets. Various IMAX cameras were placed inside the speeding aircraft, capturing both the dizzying sights and the actor's genuine struggles. It is aggressive. You can't act that, the distortion in the face. This required extensive training on the actor's parts, because they were hitting up to 8 Gs of force. This is enough to make someone vomit and even pass out, as is evident from the behind-the-scenes promos. This is what separates Tom Cruise movies from everything else. And I think when Tom hears that something's impossible or it can't be done, that's when he gets to work. Number 14, Cliffside Motorcycle Chase, Mission Impossible, Rogue Nation. We're not doing a lot of CGI. We don't have other stunt people do this. And driving fast on these beautiful Atlas Mountains on incredible motorbikes. The Mission Impossible franchise knows how to execute a great chase sequence. And Rogue Nation contains one of the all-time best. Ethan chases Elsa Faust through a winding mountain road populated by massive drops that could kill a person in seconds. Naturally, it was Cruz himself who hopped on the bike, sped through the winding road, and took incredibly sharp turns while wearing nothing but jeans and a tropical shirt. In fact, the stunt team actually disabled the safety features on all the bikes to make the footage more exciting. It's got a few kind of rider aids that you can bring in to help you not to crash. And we're going to disable all that, obviously, for the crash, so it lets us have a bit of fun with it. And therein lies the magic of Tom Cruise, making something even more dangerous than it already is just to get a cool shot. Number 13, Shanghai Bungee Jump, Mission Impossible 3. Many people pay good money for what Tom Cruise gets paid to do. Um, such are the bonuses of being a megastar and professional stuntman. I work for an agency. It's called IMF. What does that stand for? Impossible Mission Force. In one of Mission Impossible 3's greatest scenes, Ethan bungee jumps off Shanghai's Bank of China Tower before slamming into and sliding down a wall of windows. Cruz performed the initial bungee jump himself, and this is evident simply by watching the movie. In one smooth shot, the camera lingers on Cruz's nervous face before tracking him across and over the side of the building. We're getting vertigo just watching the darn jump, never mind actually doing it. Number 12, Car Chase, Jack Reacher. Suspect is headed north on Stable 65 and he back up an air support. In the Jack Reacher novels, Reacher is described as being 6'5 and 250 pounds. As such, fans were not exactly thrilled to hear that Tom Cruise, who stands at just 5 feet 7 inches, would play the iconic character in the cinematic adaptation. However, Cruise more than made up for the height disparity by performing all of his own driving stunts in the film's adrenaline-fueled chase sequence. To call this stunt dangerous would be a gross understatement as it not only required Cruz to pull off a handful of high-speed maneuvers, but also required him to smash into walls and cars while dodging oncoming traffic. If only he did Uber. Number 13, 
Number 11, Knife Near Eye, Mission Impossible 2. In this film's climactic fight scene, IMF agent Ethan Hunt finds himself locked in a battle to the death with antagonist Sean Ambrose. After some truly vicious hand-to-hand -hand combat, Ambrose pulls out a knife and leaps at Hunt, who manages to stop it from turning his eyeball into a kebab at literally the last possible second. And while director John Woo wasn't exactly thrilled to hear that Cruz wanted to do the stunt himself, he must have been pleased with the final result, which makes it perfectly clear whose eyeball is on the line. If we are to glean anything from this scene, it's that not all stunts require car chases or explosions to be considered insane. Go ahead, use a hunt. It's not a bad way to go. Number 10, Motorcycle Chase, Night and Day. Even though it's one of Tom Cruise's lesser movies, Night and Day still features a sensational action sequence. Roy and June, played by Cruz and Cameron Diaz, race through the running of the bulls on a motorcycle to save Paul Dano's Simon. Bulls. While they didn't actually drive through the bulls, the sequence still contains a lot of great stunt riding from Cruz. One stunt a bit later in the sequence was actually Cruz's idea. To shoot at goons behind them, Cruz flips Diaz to the front of the bike and drives with her facing behind him. Take the guns. Okay. Here. Whoa. What next? Let him have it. The actor is always looking for fun ways to spruce up a scene, and this is a great example of his work ethic. Number nine, almost off with his head, The Last Samurai. Oh, to prepare for his role in The Last Samurai, Tom Cruise underwent multiple months of martial arts training, a fact that is not hard to discern while watching the film. However, something that is hard to see is that Cruise was almost decapitated when a mechanical horse malfunctioned. The scene called for Cruise and Japanese actor Hiroyuki Sanada to charge at each other on robo-horses, with Sanada's horse stopping at a specific mark to ensure Cruise's head remained atop his shoulders. Alas, the horse must have blown a fuse, because Sanada, and more importantly his sword, kept going. And when it finally stopped, it was just inches from Cruz's neck. Talk about a close call. Number 8. Hanging on a Wire – Minority Report Steven Spielberg's sci-fi noir takes place in a futuristic world, one in which the police can stop crimes before they're even committed. Cruz plays John Anderton, a pre-crime officer who goes on the run after being accused of future murder. While being chased by a group of jetpack sporting officers, Cruz's character must make a tough decision – take a leap of faith or be arrested. Obviously, he goes for the former, and to pull it off, Cruz was suspended with the help of an 80-foot rig and dropped at high speed towards another stuntman. With the help of more than a mile's worth of cables, Cruz was dropped, then dragged across a massive soundstage. That must have hurt. <laughs> Number 7. Hanging and Falling Off a Helicopter – Mission Impossible Fallout The Mission Impossible movies always have great climaxes, and Fallout contains a magnificent helicopter chase that actually saw Cruz flying the aircraft through the snowy mountains. The chase begins with a pulse-pounding helicopter jacking. To perform the stunt, Cruz ran towards the helicopter, grabbed onto its dangling rope, and was lifted dozens of feet into the air. He proceeded to dangle from the flying helicopter with a safety line that was digitally erased in post. Eventually, Ethan slips from the helicopter's landing skid and free falls dozens of feet onto a net below. Cruz actually performed this free fall numerous times, having missed the net on multiple occasions. Tom's looking up at me, I'm hanging out the helicopter because I'm doing all the cues and everything, and he's reaching as if he's trying to go up when he slips, and I'm looking directly into his eyes, and then he lets go and he falls down the line and he hits the net and grabs on. And to think, Cruz is still doing insane stunts like this in his 50s. Number 6. Rock Climbing – Mission Impossible 2 reintroduce a character like Ethan Hunt to filmgoers after a four-year absence? By having him free climb a section of Dead Horse Point State Park, of course. Despite the concerns of the studio, Cruz insisted on doing the extremely dangerous stunt himself and without a safety net. 
All he had was a harness and a few cables that were digitally removed in post-production. Even so, the stunt was so stressful that director John Woo refused to watch. At one point, Cruz tore a muscle in his shoulder while jumping 15 feet from one section of rock to another. The final result is a scene so thrilling, it gives us goosebumps. Number 5. Plane Sequence – The Mummy I'm sorry. The Mummy may not have hit the mark with critics, but you'd be hard-pressed to argue that this scene, in which a plane dramatically crashes to the Earth, is not worth the price of admission. Initially, the scene was supposed to be filmed using wires and a rotating set, until Tom Cruise stepped in. He insisted that it be shot inside the Vomit Comet, a zero-gravity weightlessness simulator that more than lived up to its name during filming. You can do this! You can do this! 64 takes and a whole lot of puking later, and they had their shot. Acting in these conditions must have been brutal, but as per usual, Tom Cruise managed to pull it off. <laughs> Number 4. Holding Breath for 3 Minutes – Underwater Mission Impossible Rogue Nation The fifth entry in the MI franchise may as well have just been called Mission Impossible – Tom Cruise Does a Bunch of Insane Stunts. In order to accurately pull off a single long take in which Cruise's character attempts to steal a secure file from an underwater vault, the action star straight up learned how to hold his breath underwater for three minutes. As if that weren't already mind-boggling enough, stunt coordinator Wade Eastwood claims that Cruise pushed his own physical limitations even further, learning to hold his breath for six whole minutes. You know what? The jury's still out on whether or not Cruise is part fish. You see? what I tell you? Difficult? Absolutely. Number 3. Halo Jump – Mission Impossible Fallout Halo Jump is a sequence Tom and I have been talking about for a number of years. This stunt has been in the back of Tom Cruise's mind for years. And now that he's established himself as Hollywood's preeminent actor slash stuntman, he was finally able to convince a studio to allow him to try it. A high-altitude low opening, or halo jump, is used by military personnel to sneak into a country undetected, and requires them to jump from a height of 25,000 feet, only opening their parachutes when they reach 2,000 feet. To pull it off, crews made over 100 jumps from a C-17 aircraft supplied by the United Arab Emirates. By successfully accomplishing this stunt, Cruz became the first actor to do a halo jump on camera. We needed the UAE. Had they not stepped in, we would not have been able to accomplish the sequence. Number 2. Hanging onto a plane during takeoff. Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. If something went wrong, I can't get into the airplane until we land. That's how Tom Cruise illustrated just how hazardous this stunt was during a behind-the-scenes featurette for Rogue Nation. And he's right. This stunt was so insane, so death-defyingly dangerous, that Cruz did it eight times. That's how long it took them to get the perfect shot. She the door! As he clings to the side of the aircraft, Cruz can only watch as his legs begin to flail about helplessly, overpowered by wind, as the plane ascends to 5,000 feet. If you're wondering how this didn't take the top spot on our list, just wait. We've got something even crazier to show you. That's the wrong door! Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Climbing the Burj Khalifa – Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol 25 minutes to door knock. Standing 2,722 feet tall, the Burj Khalifa in Dubai is the world's tallest structure. So naturally, Tom Cruise felt the need to run, climb, slide, and rappel down its exterior from hundreds of floors up while filming Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol. Being suspended over a thousand feet in the air would make most people cry for their mamas, but behind-the-scenes footage shows a totally chilled-out Cruise tackling the stunt as if he were part bird. The stunt was deemed so dangerous that Cruise's insurance company forbid him from doing it. So he fired him and hired a new one. He has come a long way since Oprah's couch. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.